Hello students, today continuing with the lecture series of physics for B.Tech first year students, we will be discussing the experiment of determining electrochemical equivalent of copper. Request you to please subscribe to the channel in order to get regular updates in your physics paper. Let us begin. What have we to do in this experiment? The aim is to determine the electrochemical equivalent. That is, in short, you also say ECE of copper material. You have to use a tangent galvanometer. That means a galvanometer which is based on law of tangent. What apparatus do you require? You require a copper voltameter a storage cell, plug key, rheostat to vary the current in the circuit, stopwatch to take time into consideration how much time you will let the current flow in the circuit, commutator key to reverse the direction of current in the circuit, spirit level to balance the tangent galvanometer. What is the formula of this experiment? ECE of copper is given by Z is equal to M upon IT, where M is the mass of copper deposited in time T seconds by I ampere of current. It means that suppose current flows in an electrolyte for some time T, then the how much mass of copper gets deposited, we have to take that into consideration. What is a copper voltameter? A copper voltameter in physics lab looks like this. The red point is your positive electrode, the black is negative and these are the three copper rods which have been kept in the vessel and you will be filling it with the electrolyte which will get deposited on the cathode. So, it copper voltameter consists of a cylindrical glass vessel which is filled with copper sulfate solution with few drops of sulfuric acid. The vessel is covered with a circular ebonite lid top of which anode and cathode plates are suspended. Anode is a pair of two identical parallel copper plates here held at a small distance apart and they have been joined by a small metallic strip. Cathode is also a copper plate suspended symmetrically in between two anodes. When an electric current is passing through this copper sulfate solution, copper gets deposited on the cathode and it dissolves from the anode into the solution, keeping the concentration of the solution here constant. This concept we will be using. What is tangent galvanometer? Tangent galvanometer we also use in the experiment of variation of magnetic field along the x-axis of a circular current carrying coil. This is what a tangent galvanometer looks like. 250, 500 are the number of turns which we will be taking in the experiment. This is the pivot. Here is the needle or the pointer through which you will be reading these angles of deflection. This small magnet is here. The red dot is the north pole. Opposite is the south pole. This is the circular uh, uh, section which has been given to us and circumference has been mentioned on it. This is based on law of tangent that is i is equal to k tan theta hence the name tangent galvanometer the only precaution we take while using this tangent galvanometer is that parallax should be removed it is based on tangent law of magnetism basically three types of coils of fine insulated copper wire having 250 and 500 number of turns are wound on it 
it has a small magnetic needle which is kept at its center and we set it in magnetic meridian before we start the experiment. Now, what is the concept of this experiment? The a simple concept of this experiment is that when a current is passed through copper sulfate solution, which has been taken in a copper voltmeter, electrolysis takes place and copper ions move towards the cathode and get deposited on it. If M is the mass of copper deposited in T seconds by I ampere of current, then M becomes proportional to charge or charge is current into time. So, M is equal to ZIT where Z is electrochemical equivalent of copper. So, the tangent galvanometer is related to current flowing through the formula by I is equal to K tan theta where K is reduction factor and it is given by 2 into radius of the circular coil. H, horizontal component of magnetic field at the particular place. Mu naught, a constant equal to 4 pi into 10 to the power of minus 7. And N, the number of turns we are going to take. We know that tan 45 degree is 1. So, when we keep theta equal to 45 degree, tan 45 becomes equal to 1 and reduction factor becomes equal to current. So, the K is numerically equal to the current required to produce a deflection of 45 degree in the galvanometer. Hence, Z is equal to K tan theta into T or tan 45 degree which is equal to 1. This is how we will set up the circuit for this experiment. We will begin by the anode terminal, connect it to the positive of the battery. Then negative of battery will be connected to one-way key and then it will be communicated connected to the commutator key which is used to reverse the direction of current in an electric circuit. Two terminals of the commutator key will be connected across the tangent galvanometer and one end of commutator key will be connected to rheostat and the other to the cathode. It is filled with copper sulfate solution. Now, the observation table for this experiment is like this, that we have to take into consideration how much time we will make the current flow. We will take deflection of pointer for direct and reverse current. Then we will find out the mean of all these angles and then current is equal to K tan theta where K is reduction factor. And finally, for Z, we will take mass of copper deposited divided by current into how much time we made the current flow through the apparatus. Now, electrochemical equivalent of copper will come out our experimental value. We can compare it with percentage error by knowing that the standard value of ECE of copper is 3.2 into 10 to the power of minus 7 kg per coulomb. Now, how do we begin the experiment? First, we set up the tangent galvanometer. We remove the parallax. We level this circle and then we try to set the pointer at 0, 0. Also, on the tangent galvanometer, circumference of this circle is mentioned. In this case, we can see it is written for 49.5 centimeters is the circumference. So, radius comes out as 49.5 is equal to 2 pi r. So, r is equal to 
49.5 divided by 2 pi. How have we set up the circuit? Exactly as I told you. Red is the positive of your battery eliminator. Black is the negative. From the positive end, we have connected it here. It is a simple series circuit. And here we have taken 50 turns of the tangent galvanometer into consideration. This is my commutator key which is used to reverse the direction of current. This is one way key and this is my rheostat which is used to vary the current and this is the copper voltameter with electrolyte filled in it. Next we can have a more closer look at how to connect the circuit. See, we start with the commutator key, opposite terminals going through the tangent galvanometer here. And then this is a very simple series circuit through one-way key. Now, we begin the experiment. At time t equal to zero minute, we uh, make current flow in the circuit and with the help of rheostat try to see that deflection on opposite sides comes out as 45 degree why because tan 45 is 1 so this will help us in finding the reduction factor so in the direct and reverse state tan angle should come as 45 degree approximately once we have checked this, we will take out the copper plates, dry them and measure their weight. This will give us M1 for our observation table. And after writing M1, we will insert the copper plates back into the copper voltameter and for 50 minutes, we will let current flow in the circuit. Because in this 50 minute deposition will take place on the copper plates and at regular intervals of 5-5 five, five minutes we will keep checking that whether our deflection is in the range of 45 degree or not because tan 45 is equal to 1. So a continuous current keeps flowing in my circuit. And after every five minutes, five minutes, then again another five minutes, we are checking whether the pointer is reading 45 degree or not. After 50 minutes, that is we keep doing this for five, five minute interval, we keep checking that whether pointer is in the range of 45 degree or not. So, for 50 minutes, we have making current flow continuously in the circuit. While this current is flowing, deposition of copper is taking place on the copper plates. Once we have made the current flow in the circuit for 50 minutes of waiting, we will switch off the circuit or we can e either take out our one-way plug key and dry our plate and Again, measure the mass of the copper plate. This will give us how much copper got deposited on our plate. And then we can put the value of this mass of deposited copper and find electrochemical equivalent. See, horizontal component of Earth's magnetic field at, say, Delhi is 0.345 into 10 to the power of minus 4 Tesla. Number of turns we took is 50. Circumference of the given coil is 49.5 centimeter. So, this we will come find out the radius from this. C is equal to 2 pi r. So, r comes out as 0.788 meter. Suppose the mass of copper plate before deposition was 64.806 gram. After 50 minutes of current flowing and then drying the plate and taking mass again, we find the mass as 64.901 gram. So how much copper got deposited? We subtract M1 from M2, that is mass 
before deposition gets subtracted from mass after deposition and we get the amount of copper mass deposited is 0 0.095 gram. Time we took is 50 minutes. We will change it into seconds. So 50 into 60 gives us 3000 seconds. Reduction factor value. Mu naught is 4 pi into 10 to the power of minus 7 Henry per meter. And R, the radius here is 0.788 meter. BH is 0.345. Mu naught is 4 pi into 10 to the power of minus 7. And N is 50. We get the value of reduction factor as 0 0.084. And in our observation table, we keep observing after 5-5 five, five minute interval that our range of angles were near 45 degree. We find I, the mean value of I here. And finally, after keeping all these values, we get the answer for Z. The biggest precaution of this experiment is that current must be in a steady state throughout the experiment. Plane of tangent galvanometer should be lying in magnetic meridian. The plates must be dried properly before measuring. And tangent galvanometer must be placed far away from magnetic elements because they affect the magnetic field. Thank you.